Hey everybody, um, this is your Calculus 5.5 video on indefinite integrals and substitution. So your objective is to be able to approximate the area under the graph and um, you've used your graphing utility before for definite integrals, but in this case um, they're indefinite, so you can't really use that. Um, so while you're studying this, is recall that derivatives had to do with answering the question regarding the slope of the tangent line. In the dictionary, derivative means something that is based on another source. That's why there's the analogy that the derivative of Batman is Bruce Wayne. So uh, basically, if you have Batman... He has um, weapons, and so the derivative of Batman is Bruce Wayne. No costume, you know, etc. Um, on the other hand, if you're doing integrals. Um, integral means necessary to make a whole, complete, essential, or fundamental. That's why the integral of Bruce Wayne is Batman. So the um, integral of Bruce Wayne is Batman because he has his suit and weapons. So again, um, if you had f is x squared, f prime is 2x. And if you had x squared, then the integral of f means the integral of x squared. That's one-third x cubed plus c. Because we don't know what c is. You go up a power and put one over the number. So um, this lesson is like 5 the redefinite integral, but you cannot use your cal uh, calculator because there's no boundaries. So in this lesson, calculus doesn't need the calculator. Um, so it's about the area problem. The development of the integral, like the derivative, was originally motivated due to the large context by a problem in geometry, which is what they call the area problem. Suppose you have f of x over a closed interval a, b, then find the area between f, the x-axis, and the vertical lines. So that's what we did before, like You could have it from here to here, for example, and this is your x equal a, this is your x equal b, and you want to add up those two areas. And they actually partially cancel in my example because um, they're signed. Um, this section has to do with not having certain boundary conditions, so you cannot use your calculator. Um, your th fundamental theorem of calculus says that a definite integral of a continuous function can be computed if we can find the antiderivative. Here we define the indefinite integral as the set of all antiderivatives. So like if you thought of um, doing the integral of x squared dx as one-third x cubed plus c, um, that's the general form. Well, it could have been one-third x cubed plus one, one-third x cubed plus ten, anything you want. One-third x cubed minus ten. You know, it's some constant. We don't know what it is. And so it's the set of all antiderivatives. So if you're doing your integral, you have your f of x plus c, where c is any constant. 
Remember that the derivative of any constant is zero, so you can't be specific about which number it is when we're dealing with indefinite integrals, so we put plus c. Now you can use u substitution, um, similar to other sections, if that helps you understand it better. Um, you're making a composite function and you need to multiply by the derivative. So if you have the integral of f of g of x times the derivative of g, which was the inside part, then that could be expressed as the integral of f u du. Um, so the substitution method for that is say u is g of x and the derivative of u with respect to x dx is g prime and that gives it to you so then you integrate and then replace so i'll show you how that actually makes sense in these problems so on this first one you have the integral of 2 times 2x plus 8 to the fourth dx they're telling you this is u is 2x plus 8, which is basically this part. So what you're doing is the integral of u to the, well, wait, 2 in front, uh, 2u to the fourth du. So that means take u, put it to the fifth power, you still have your 2 in front, and then you put 1 fifth, and then here's where you're doing du. Now, for the u, it's 2x plus 8. So du, or you could say u prime, is 2. So that's why your 2s are going to cancel. So here, when we're doing du or u prime, it's not just 2, it's 2 dx. And then they want to solve for dx, and so it's du divided by 2. And so here you have your 2 and then your 1 fifth u to the fifth du. And so then um, we will need to do 2 and then 1 fifth and then u to the fifth 1 half. So those cancel plus C and then plug it in. So if you want to see it a little cleaner, it's going to be this. So the integral of 2u to the fourth and then the half du, um, your 2s cancel. And then you have 1 fifth u to the fifth plus C. So then 1 fifth 2x plus 8 to the fifth plus C. So this is probably the cleanest part of it. And you need to realize that we had to have a one half. Okay, so here we have our next one. Okay, so on this one to start you out with, we have the integral of two X times X squared plus one to the negative three power. So what you start with is put this as what u is. And so then du would be 2x dx. And we're solving for x dx in our problem. And so we get a half du. So that means the integral of your problem or exercise is 2 times u to the negative 3 and then a half du. So your twos cancel. And so you're basically just doing your integral of u to the negative three du. So then we write down the u, we raise it to a power. So that means we get closer to zero. And so this turns into negative two and then we have to put negative a half in front of it and then plus C. And so that's how you get 
your negative a half x squared plus 1 to the negative 2 plus c. So here on this example, we have u equal 3 minus x to the 6. And so uh, that means that du is going to be um, six x to the fifth so um, we would have du is negative six x to the fifth dx don't forget the dx there um, and if we're trying to do a substitution, you would be missing your negative 6 in the integrand to do the substitution. And so because of that, we put negative 6 on top and bottom. The bottom one just gets factored out, so to speak. And this one goes with our um, dx. And so um, this x to the fifth, negative 6 dx, um, you know, just goes away. Basically, it turns into 1. And so we have negative 1 sixth integral of 1 du, 1 over du, one more time, 1 over u squared du. And so when you do that, you have your negative 1 sixth. Um, I'm going to rewrite it as u to the negative 2 du. And so we have negative 1 sixth. Um, then we raise to a power. So this is now negative 1 instead. And then we have 1 over negative 1. And then plus c. So the negative on here cancels and so you get one sixth then the u part which was three minus x to the sixth to the negative one power plus c so there it is so on this next one notice how x to the fifth when you take your derivative, turns into 5x to the fourth. And when you have x cubed, you know, and do that derivative, it turns into 3x squared. So these are related. Notice when you get to your answer, um, you'd be skipping a lot of steps, but you basically take the same thing, raise it a power, and then do 1 8 are just over 8 and then plus C. Um, so basically, raise by a power and then 1 over that power and then that to the new power. So um, I did that a little bit too fast. The U is the front term. Um, so u is your x to the fifth plus x cubed. And so then you do your derivative. The 5 comes down and it's x to the fourth. And then the 3 comes down and it's x squared dx. So because we did the u equal the x to the fifth plus x cubed and your du is basically the same thing as what this is dx, then this whole problem basically turns into the integral of u to the seventh du. And so then to do that, we make it raise a power and then put one eighth and then plus c. So this is one eighth. The u was the x to the fifth plus x cubed and then plus c. And it doesn't matter if you have the one eighth in front or like that. 
Um, but I do need the eighth power right there. Then that matches. So on this one, they're already telling you u is 8x. So that means du is going to be 8dx. And so that means that 1 8 du equal dx. So then for your problem, this turns into the integral of 1 8 sine u du and so you're going to need a negative cosine in particular um, we need like the 1 8 still negative 1 8 cosine of u plus c so basically if you're doing the integral of sine you get negative cosine um, and then the other part was just the fraction. And so this would be negative 1 8 cosine of u, which was 8x plus c. And again, if you want it underneath, you can. Teachers. Okay. So this next one has secant and tangent in it. And so uh, this comes from 559. And so basically on number nine, it says uh, for theirs, which is secant 2t, tan 2t, um, they say u is 2t, and then they say du is 2dt. And then you solve for your dt, so it's a half du. And so then this turns into a half secant u tangent u du. And so that's a half secant u plus c, because the derivative of secant is secant tangent. And so then that gives you your answer. So we're going to do the same thing on ours. And so... Uh, the difference is going to be we have that 18 in front. So to start with, they already have u as the 3x. And so du is going to be 3dx, which means um, one third du equal dx. So then for our problem, you're going to have the integral of 18 um, secant u tangent u du. But um, we have to have the one-third in front right there. And so then 18 times a third is 6. And so we get 6. Um, and then just like on the other one, if it's secant tangent, we just need secant. And then the u is really 3x. And then we say plus C. On number 11, um, we have an example with U equal, well, of the integral of 9 R, show this. The integral of 9r squared dr over 1 minus r cubed. 
Um, so what they did is they said the U part is the underneath the square root. So that's what we do for ours. And then um, du would be the derivative of that, which is negative 3r squared dr. And then um, from there, they get negative 3du, which is 9r squared dr. So what they did is they multiplied both sides by negative 3. And so you have a negative 3 du, and you have negative 3 times negative 3 is 9. So um, that's what they ended up doing. And so then you get the integral of negative 3 u to the negative 1 half du. And so then they just worked it. You raise your power from negative a half to positive a half, and then um, you have a two in front, and then plus c, and then multiply it and substitute back in. So let's do that to ours. So u equal five minus r to the fourth, which means, um, that the du equal negative 4r cubed dr. And then um, the next step is we need to multiply. By negative 4. So this turns into negative 4 du equal positive 16 r cubed dr. Um, that was multiply both sides by negative 4 so that you get negative 4 du. So now then for our problem we can then simplify this Because if you notice, what we did is we made this part match the numerator. So that's the whole goal of doing it that way. So we've matched our numerator. And so then um, this turns into um, your negative 4. So the integral negative 4. U. And if it's like 1 over the square root of u, we think of that as u to the negative 1 half. And so we have the integral of negative 4u to the negative 1 half du. And so that gives you negative 4. And then we're going to have our 2 here, and then u to the half plus c. And so when you multiply that, that gives you negative 8, and then u to the half plus c. And so that's the negative 8. The u was the 5 minus r to the fourth. And then uh, raise that to the half power plus c. That's probably a good stopping point for this video, um, so hope that helps.